Hi, Prashant here from Make Marketeer. And uh, in this video, I would be sharing about how to create a filter and apply to the view part in Google Analytics that will display the entire domain. If you're working with Google Analytics, I think you should be aware by now that Google Analytics does not display the host name. So for example, if you have a website like, make, like makemarketer.website, which is my website, a demo site where I try and I'll you know, teach you all these things. So when people go to makemarketer.website and I've installed Google Analytics on the site, and if I go to the real time report or any other report, what happens is the makemarketer.com, uh, the dot website, which is the host name, that is not displayed. For example, you see this. When people get to this page called make market slash shop, what Google Analytics does is they don't display the host name. Rather, they display the URI, which is slash shop slash. But Prashant, when I'm implementing something called cross domain tracking, I think you might be aware about cross domain tracking. If not, you can go check my other videos on YouTube channel where I've discussed in detail about cross domain tracking, where a user travels from one website to other website and you want to treat all of them as same user with the same session and all those page views attributed to the same session. So in that case, what happens is you don't have two different, uh, two different analytics codes. You rather put one analytics code on both the websites. But Prashant, what happens when people go from one website to other website? Either way, what happens is Google is not going to display the host name. So if people go from make market website to make market dot in make market dot website also shows the URI slash. If you go to make market dot in, it will also show the URI slash. So now the question is, how do I understand which page they came to? Did they come to the home page of the make market dot website or they came to the make market uh, dot in website? So you see. I'll take you to the other website of mine. It, it, again, this is just a duplicate website of my original site, which is makemarketer.com, where we run an immersive bootcamp program where you learn everything live. It is under India's 100%, 100% real-time digital marketing immersive bootcamp. So that's how that's how it is. Now, I, I'm just showing you both the sites. Both the sites have the same analytics. But if people come to this page, Google Analytics will show it as slash a URI. If people come to the home page of this page, again, it will slow a slash because both of them have the same tracking ID. Now the question is, how do I even understand which page they came to? Did they even come to my first website or second website? So to understand that, what we can do is we can apply one small filter and that filter is available in the view section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to analytics here and I'm going to the uh, the, the settings part. In the settings part, I'm going to the, the view page. So I'm, I'm going to apply view uh, the set the, the filters to any view generally it is not recommended to apply any filter to the 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 raw data because filters are not retractive so remember filters are not retractive right segments are retractive so you can't just uh, apply filter and say uh, you know when i remove the filter i want the original data to return back that is not going to happen so i go to filters here i applied a host name display filter and this is how it is so i gave a name as host name display and i selected the advanced and here in the first option is right host name and you put bracket dot star so what bracket dot star represent here is dot star in technical language represents everything it, it tries to pull the entire data and you go to URI URI is whatever is after slash so I'm saying the URI you also capture the entire URI that means the entire thing it captures literally everything what is whatever is after the slash part and we are reconstructing we're constructing it and we're requesting is dollar a one dollar b one this is what Google told us and uh, I applied it so it is already there I applied a filter already so I'm not going to save this So rather I'm going to the real time. Now when I go to the real time, why I'm going to real time? Because it's already there. The code is already there. Now when people go to the site, you see the entire website is displayed. If I don't apply this hostname filter, what happens? It will show you the entire, uh, so only the, the only the URI, that is slash for the home page. Now if I come here, I refresh the page again. The, both of them are in the same analytics because I wanted to show you how uh, enhanced decom, sorry, the cross domain tracking works. So you see here, You see, it shows the entire website name. So this is how you can add a host name display filter. And it's of great value when you're working on uh, multiple websites with the same analytics code. So this is of great help in case you're, you're having any troubles or you're working with multiple websites having the same analytics property, you can use this. And stay connected, watch my other videos. You can go to my channel where I've, where I've taught about various in-depth topics that generally you don't find anywhere in Hyderabad or India. And uh, 
I would be happy to share more content as as I find more time. Uh, in each boot camp, what I'm doing is I'm trying to create these videos and and share those videos to those people and whichever I think I can share them on YouTube because I can't share everything because it's a paid boot camp and whatever I think I have to put on YouTube, I'm doing that. If you want to learn these in-depth skills, you can register for the boot camp. Boot camp is 100% real time where you get to work on a practical website, implement all all these in-depth ads that. Jason tracking implementations using GTM. Thank you so much and stay connected.